What's happening, gamers? It's K Mega 405 coming to you live from the 405 where I'm just your regular gamer talking to the intelligent gamers. And as I said uh, earlier, <laughs> if you uh, checking out these videos, uh, back to, well, this, this is going to be the second video. So, yeah, uh, like I said in my last video, I was going to be going right back to back to back to back. So with this one, I have some more energy because I took a little time, a little break to make that, to make that, that uh, pot roast settle. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, man, but if you new to the channel, man, what's going on, everybody, thank you for coming to join and check out the, uh, uh, what I have to say. And if you like the content, please subscribe, man. I really do appreciate that. Uh, and, uh, man, uh, check out the stuff that I do, uh, on, uh, Mixer, uh, K Mega slash 405. And also, uh, on Twitter, I'm always on Twitter all the time, uh, at K Mega, uh, four. So anyway let's get this popping um this was the story that i really wanted to talk about uh <laughs> when i first seen it yesterday and it blew my mind right because uh we've talked about this in dms and in xbox live parties and stuff like that about hey what if xbox really decided to undercut sony uh what would that look like how would they do that uh is it even possible and of course lo and behold um there was uh i guess people in the industry thinking the same thing especially of how everything is being played out within um the way sony has been reacting this whole year and how xbox has been hacking this whole year uh xbox has been very aggressive uh they've shown everything they've they've came out uh swinging right off the right out of the gate while sony has been more reluctant to not talk about anything not to show anything uh you know very just just really not sony like um, and, and listen, uh, it's, it's could be because of rumors that's been going on, or it could be just a strategy, but overall, the one thing that I think everybody can agree on is that Sony is being really quiet about their console is because of they're waiting on the price of what Xbox is going to provide and Xbox is not having it this time around, uh, case in point going back to 2013 which i'm pretty sure a lot of people are sick of talking about 2013 i know i am but sometimes you have to revisit history to talk about the stuff that's in the present uh when xbox did this when they revealed everything and especially when xbox was going through all of their 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 weird situations and and getting crazy feedback and the messaging was all over the place they hit everybody with the price first and it wasn't it wasn't a stunner like the playstation 3 but it was still like, okay, all right, you know, okay, you got some good games coming at launch. Uh, yeah, you know, I know a lot of people haven't even really heard about the whole DRM thing, but there was a lot of people that started talking about it. But the $500 price, woof, you know, we're just coming out of recession. Man, ouch, you know, but you know what? Hey, you know what I'm saying? You know, you have the success of the 360 and, you know, you've had so many people jump over uh, over from being PlayStation 2 owners to 360 owners. So, hmm, all right, cool. Well, let's see what PlayStation has. And then PlayStation, of course, as we all know, had one of their best shows uh, ever <laughs> because they lit it up. They showed games and then they laid the price down. Uh, and then kill and then killed the game with the whole, uh, you know, uh, Yoshida getting the hand, getting the uh, the disc of uh, the game handed to him from uh, Adam Boys. And so that was it. Mike dropped the mic. <laughs> it was it was it. And so the, people could talk about Resolution Gate, all these other things. You know, I've talked about this when I very well, uh, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, but I wasn't on YouTube at the time. But I said this later on was that. It had nothing to do with resolution or DRM. It was because of the people was coming out of the recession and you seen a hundred dollar uh, price tag that you seen you seen a hundred dollars less price tag on the PlayStation four and then the Xbox one. That was that was it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People didn't have to ask. And then I mean, I even considered a picking a PlayStation first. I knew I was going to get them both. I always do. But I'm kind of like, well, you know, well, I could do some extra stuff with this extra hundred dollars, you know, and I mean, I got to get another console for my kid. I don't know, man, this is kind of, but, I, you know, but me and my son were really excited about what was going on with, uh, with, with games like Killer Instinct. I mean, we was real big fans of the Connect. We thought the Connect was going to kind of be some of what the 360 Connect was. It was only going to be better. We thought there was going to be those same type of games to be dropped. 
uh, and, 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 and everything else. And, and so, um, and then my girlfriend and her daughters at the time. And so, you know, it was kind of a thing like, Hey, I'm going to go ahead and cop it. You know I mean? Cause I mean, I, I like Xbox and all that other stuff. That's, that's a whole long story that not even, I'm not even going to get into, but, um, the hundred dollar price is what sold the deal. Because it's the one thing that people need to understand is that casuals, they have no loyalty. <laughs> their, 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 their situation of how their lives is at the time when these new consoles or any other product comes out is that's, you know what I'm saying, when their wallets is their loyalty. So if PlayStation fans think they're going to have the same thought process, I guess, as, 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 uh, um, as what 360 Xbox fans thought, Oh, well, I mean, they love the 360. They're not going to jump. Oh, they're not going to jump ship. They, they, you know, they don't even like PlayStation games. I mean, The Last of Us came out. It didn't really sell that well. I mean, they got remasters. People play God of War three. Uh, <laughs> look at where, look at what happened. The Last of Us uh, is 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 now a phenomenon, even when it didn't really do well when it first came out on the on the on the, on the PlayStation three. It is it is acclaimed. It's one of the most anticipated games. Uh, you know, God of War, you know, just because of a lot of people who didn't really play God of War because they didn't ever have a PlayStation 3. And then just everything else about what the PlayStation offered <laughs> at the time. And then on top of all that, the resolution, the, you know, the, the resolution, get everything else just piled on at that time. Everything. But when it really all came down to it, it was the hundred dollars that caused it, that caused the pain. So, we come into the point of now, and we're seeing now that there's a lot of rumors that's going around. And even though I know my boy Michael Pactor, uh, you know, I always used to watch the Pack Attack all the time. It was it was a great show for me because it was you know because it was kind of like you know more of adult style, business oriented show. So I always checked into uh, Michael Pactor, and every time that I was watching game trailers, and then they had those interviews where uh, Jeff Keighley and Michael Pactor and plenty of other people would come on the show. I would always weigh in back then. So I hate that I missed this uh, podcast. I need to go check it out and watch it. But anyway, <clears throat> but Michael Packer's back with some more rumors. And Michael Packer also made rumors at the beginning of the generation talking about consoles was dead. Totally understand that Michael Packer has not been 100% correct on everything that he said. But the one thing I give the man is he has some really good strategies. He has some really good points. And uh, just like back then, have to make one more little little story about about uh about about the past and gaming uh is basically about what michael Pactor said about what xbox should do because xbox was kind of coming in with this whole new future digital games you know on everything's got to be online this whole new aspect so maybe they should be working with companies and working with uh you know uh uh, AT&T, Verizon, uh, you know, uh, out here it's called Cox Communication, uh, Comcast, yeah, and have them all work together and do a package deal so if people buy a new internet service, then they'll get an Xbox One, all that, everything, it sounded perfect to me, I'm like, that is smart, Xbox has got to do that, that is that is great, that would be great marketing, but of course we've seen how Xbox's marketing was uh, this generation, uh, except for a few crazy good hard hits but other than that for the most part it hasn't been all that great but um but yeah it never came true but i thought that that was a great idea and so michael pactor made a great point uh in in, in here not so much in what he, what he said in this article but he made a point of saying uh game pass xbox is killing it right now with services this is something that i've also said is that in the next generation it's not going to be all about this whole sales numbers of units. It's, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, they want to hit this 10 million mark, uh, you know, to try to see who hits 10 million first. But it's all, but, but when it comes down to the, to the, to the get down for this generation, it's going to be about features and services more than anything, because, uh, you know, cloud services, uh, you know, PlayStation now, uh, you know, X cloud, Xbox live, PSN, um, Game Pass, all this stuff. These things are going to be what drives where the real money is going to be coming. And as we've seen, that Xbox is making crazy, crazy leaps and bounds with the uh, uh, with Game Pass. So right there, and then Xbox Live, all the way up to 90 million. Like they got more subscribers than they do consoles. 
that tells you something. Like people are resonating to either Game Pass or just get or just likes the whole uh, atmosphere with what Xbox Live provides. So those are pluses. Those are those are things that that are definitely going to be in Xbox future, and they have a they got they got a huge advantage in that category, and especially now since they're jumping into the cloud with with X Cloud, and people seem to forget that they're making a lot of money off of that. So let me read this stuff right here. All right. So this was the whole point. I'm glad I brought this up here. Right. Um, <clears throat> see, I wish I was doing this live because it seems like I'm just kind of talking to myself when I do, <laughs> when I do this, when I record it. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, all right. So right here, it says um, uh, right here. It says what, what Michael Pactor said. It says, from what I've seen, Sony's going to have to charge five hundred dollars for the PS5 and Microsoft has a big balance sheet. Pactor says if they want to cut the price by 100, just cut, just cut, uh, just cut below the PlayStation 5, subsidize the first 10 million, uh, they will. So I think that they're waiting to have Sony blink first, then they'll reveal the price and the uh, and the launch date. Very likely sometime in November, and very likely $400. Now, <laughs> bruh, woof, $400 for the Series X would be would be the would would destroy the whole Yoshida Adam Boy's passing the game to one another moment like that is be that is dropping a bomb that the mic drop that's a bomb drop you're talking about having a console that is more powerful more powerful no SSDs, no fake SS. What, what are all that stuff that yeah, man, I, I, what, our DNA three and none of that, none of that all that, that that crazy stuff. This is this is what talks right here. You have the more powerful console, and it's not even close. And you'll charge less than the competition. It is so much 2013. I've said this in videos. I've said this in podcasts. I've had people just cuss me out, say I was stupid, I was ignorant, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, a corporate slave. I'll be called all types of things. But if this happens, if this happens, this is nothing but 2013 all over again. This is nothing. It's just that the reverse is Xbox is going to be the one that's going to generate it's going to generate a whole bunch of buzz and attention from the people who buy these consoles uh, that, you know, just, you know, that want to have economic, um, that want to have their pockets, you know, thin. I'm, I'm talking all over the place. I'm trying to I'm trying to get it out. I'll get it. I promise. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They're thinking, thinking about economics because if, we also have to look at this. Right. Right. Um we're still in the pandemic. We're still in a bad situation. There's still a lot of people that's not working right now. We really don't even know if these consoles are going to come out uh, at this time. It still looks like that they are. I know that Phil Spencer said that it was. But um, but let's just say that it is. And you're talking about, and people like to game, and especially gaming was up like crazy during this pandemic. Um, and so you mean to tell me that if people can get a affordable system that is $400, you know that's four hundred dollars, and 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 then you have the competition that's a hundred dollars more. This, you know, so what's going on right now makes the recession look like child's play. People are going to be like, "Yo, <laughs> yo, I I'm getting this Xbox." You know what I'm saying? PlayStation. I'll catch you later, man. I'll catch you later. See that? The people and 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 we definitely know that PlayStation be PlayStation fans, just like there was Xbox fans. They're going to be Die-hard PlayStation fans right there to pick up their PlayStation 5. But for $100 more? Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. They might be one they might be about five of them but there'll be about 20 people that's going to get that that's going to get that xbox that's going to be a hundred dollars less now i will continue this because of course i still have to be reasonable on this because i know this came from michael pactor right and so and this is just speculation this is not an actual thing um okay so peter moore um he also chimed in and he said uh right he says with both companies are going through right now, um, you know, how much can can we afford to lose in the first 12 to 18 months? Uh, what is our attach rate to software to hardware? 
what are we willing to do in one year, two or three to hit 10 million units? More, more also added that Microsoft is in a good overall position right now in terms of stock price and uh, inferred that uh, CEO Nadella uh, should undercut the PlayStation 5 uh, to take an early lead in the next gen console sales. So even right now, these guys, right? You have two business oriented guys. And I understand that Peter Moore was once a part of Microsoft at one time. But you have two business guys that sit here and that's talking. Gosh, I got to go look and find this podcast. Um, that understands logic. That's not about, man, the, the single player experiences. Oh, man, man, uh, games of the year. None of that shit matters, man. And uh, when it comes to the, the bottom line of your dollar, of your pockets, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to price, that is going to win over anything else. We seen PlayStation had a PlayStation 4 had an abysmal launch lineup. Xbox had a monster lineup. That didn't save Xbox it, it, for nothing. Because that that hundred dollar price tag, when people coming out of a recession, when people are out of work, isn't isn't what it's about, Jack. I mean, look, there'll be people. You know, people. I'm pretty sure I'll have somebody in the in the, in the comment section that'll tell me, well, Mega. You know, at this time, you know, things could be worse. You know, the pandemic could get worse, and things could be a lot. Worse. And absolutely, it could, it could, and it could be better. We don't know what's going on. But there's more things to be serious to, to think about than to worrying about video games. <laughs> Let me tell you something about 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 human beings. People want to be entertained. People don't want to be in a bad in a bad situation of stress and and and, and just being locked in key uh, because because everything around them is is going bad. People want to be entertained, and so video games will be at a full, it will be will be will be at a full forefront for a lot of for especially gamers, especially in times when if they have to let's say that it gets worse again and people got to be locked up again, got to stay in their homes. You think that they're going to be sitting here like, man, I'm man, psh, I don't want to buy this. Now I understand that not everybody's going to buy a console, but for the people who's already got their mind made up about the console about, about consoles they're going to get, trust me. If that price, if that price difference is real, they're gonna buy. They're gonna get an Xbox before, and they're not gonna tell anybody else. They're gonna just like, nah, man, I don't. And then they'll change their name, be something, be like, you know, uh, you know, what I'm saying, uh, little little Yahtzee 25. <laughs> and then when they get the money to get a PlayStation, then they back. Trust that, like, bro, it is. It, it's all about the money. It's all about the money. And you know what I'm saying? And shout out to, to little Yachty. I think that's the guy that passed that passed away. Um, you know what I'm saying? I would try to be funny like that, but I was just trying to say like people will try to um you know, rest in peace. But I was just like, we're just making a point, just like people will do anything to save them some money. That's just a fact. And then you also gotta look at this, you gotta put this in consideration. Okay, before I even get any more deeper than that, let's just put this in perspective. Okay, this is a rumor. This isn't, this isn't, and I already know because I know this video is probably going to be about 20, 25 minutes. I have no idea how long this thing is going to be. Um, but this is, this is not legit yet, uh, or maybe never. You know what I'm saying? Both consoles could be at the same price. They both could be, PlayStation could shock everybody and say, look, man, we got everything that we need. We got to get to that 10 million so we're going to undercut xbox so they both come at 400 or they both would just sit here and look like man these consoles are too powerful we're already taking a hit as it is uh we're going to have to do 500 and both consoles could be 500 you know what i'm saying or, or one's 50 dollars more the other one's 50 dollars less who who knows who knows but all i'm saying about just listening to what this is saying this is smart. Michael Pactor is not, you know what I'm saying? I mean, look, Xbox is in a whole nother position now. PlayStation is in a whole nother position now. This isn't the same 2013 PlayStation that we know now in 2020. This isn't the same X 2013 Xbox that we know right now in 2020. Both companies has done a complete 360 on their approaches uh, from their uh, business. Well, I should say from their, uh, their, um, employees from their from their from, from from Phil Spencer doing you know taking over to now uh Yoshida's not there is is Jim Ryan that's taken over 
for the PlayStation division, so much has changed. Uh, different outlook, different thing. I mean, yeah, the games are still going to come for both consoles, but the fact of it is, is that strategies is going to be completely different. We can already see that now. And if the money aspect, if Xbox is really in it to win it, just like if you read that uh, Phil Spencer article, um, there's the, the story about Phil Spencer uh, from GameSpot and him going to um, when he, he's there and then he has to go see the CEO of Microsoft, the new CEO of Microsoft, Nadella. And I think I said that right. So, you know, let me be country if I didn't. But um, and he's like, hey, man, what's the point? What's the point of me even having the Xbox division? What is the point? And he's like, look, man, if we're going to do it, let's not half ass it. You know what I'm saying? We go all in or we just don't do it at all. They're all in. So if, if they could just if they can get their investors to be like, look, man, look how much money we're making off of Game Pass. Look at how much money we get this. If we double, if we lower the price and we go ahead and we have these people, uh, if we lower the price and we get these consoles sold at four hundred dollars, just think about how many more subscriptions through Game Pass and through um, Xbox Live that will accumulate and that will offset for that for however months like because I mean because I because I, I could look at I could see I could see it happen you know what I'm saying from from each end I could see Sony doing this as well like I mean look this is what it's all about they're playing chess with one another this is actually this is actually made gamers excited because now they're playing some competition this is competition right here this is really what they're doing right now and this is smart so if like just right now they say look you know the first two you know what i'm saying from from the day that the game the cost the x the series x launch to january 1st is going to be 400 dollars. they're going to sell out before then everybody knows that so by the time that they go to they, they get another batch for uh you know in march because that's usually when they they have another uh, new shipment or whatever in march they could have they could have people that can make pre-orders until the end of that year and then they cut it off, and then they hit it at the reg price at the at the regular price of five hundred. <laughs> you know how many how many Xboxes would be sold? And let's not forget about the Lockhart. If the Lock, you know, what I'm saying the Lockhart. I know one hundred is adamant, and uh, a couple other people are adamant that the Lockhart is not real. I know one hundred said Don, he doesn't believe in it. Um, but like you know, but they they nobody knows. But you know, from my understanding, it's absolutely a real deal. So if they still have the lock card and then they do undercutting do a hundred dollars. So if you got a three hundred dollar cheaper console and then you got a four hundred dollar console, yeah, would it make would it would it not make sense? Uh yeah, because it seemed like you're defeating the purpose and one is eating the other because more people will get the cheaper one other than, than, than the more expensive. Yeah, but what it means is that they both undercut Sony and Sony is going to be in trouble. So that makes that might make Sony have to undercut and have to try to match. And, and listen, it is a big, crazy situation. It's this was this was really fun. I thought that this was like, you know, I, I would definitely like to hear PlayStation's thought processes on this because it, it's it's not it's not it's not too far fetched. It's just not. I understand the technology in the box. I know I've seen people make uh, uh, make videos of building the uh, Series X. And it was twice the price of what we all think it's going to be five hundred dollars. So, like, that's crazy as it is. And the PlayStation is going, you know, is is you know they're going to take a loss regardless as well. So, I mean, they only made eighteen dollars per PlayStation Four. So, I mean, like, just think about, like, I mean, these guys are really good. But this also, no, this is also something that I said that it, it it's even more evident now that these consoles are going to have a way longer life cycle than. Then, then, uh, maybe even longer than the 360, uh, PlayStation, uh, the play, PlayStation 3 era because of the fact that, um, gaming, gaming graphically has plateaued. Like, like there will be bumps, like, but it, things won't be drastic. Things will not be dramatically drastic. Like, like from what we've seen from going back from, uh, I don't know, looking at a game from, uh, Nintendo or to to something that's on the, the original Xbox, 
you know, from so yeah, it's not you know we ain't gonna have a game that 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 drastic because we're already if you look at games like The Last of Us Two, the the facial animations, the looks of that game, Jesus Christ, God of War. You look at games like Quantum Break. You look at uh, Rise, and that was a launch title. You look at all these other games that looks amazing, has great has great. Uh, you know, Hellblade, all these other games out here. So there's, so ga- gaming, I think right now is going to be standstill and it's going to be all these other little things like ray tracing. And well, these things are not little, but all these other enhancements that comes into gaming, that's going to be crazy, right? So uh, that's going to, it's going to make gaming go to a next level. And then of course, with machine learning, uh, stuff that was in the cloud and everything else. So I think that this generation is going to be probably maybe the longest generation that we've ever had, uh, just because of the whole plateau thing. That graphics, the next level of graphics, other than what we've seen with Hellblade, is what I is is what we've seen. Like I mean, they're going to be people that's going to be like real. <laughs> so I mean, these these you know with the technology and everything, it's it's insane. So I think in order for them to recoup some of the the most of their costs is that these consoles is going to be out here for a long time. So I think they're both thirsty. I really do. And I think Xbox is real thirsty on uh trying to get trying to get things popping. So um it makes sense it's fun. Like I said, it 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 could be it it's just good to talk about. I think that uh, the competition aspect of it of where Microsoft is playing this game because this is actually exactly if anything you believe or don't believe uh, or I should say anything that you don't believe I think everybody should believe this uh, right here is that the is that the Xbox is definitely playing play, is, is ready to play to win and PlayStation knows it and they still want to hold on to the success that they've had but it seems like it's a little bit difficult for PlayStation right now because of all the turmoil and issues with the rumors and all this stuff. Um, but we'll find out. We'll definitely find out. So uh, I want to hear your thoughts, man. I can't wait to talk about this and get everybody's thoughts on GRG because this is uh, this this is this is absolutely this is this is what I like to talk about. This is the fun stuff, uh, you know, to talk about what the strategies, the 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 the, the things within these the, within these companies that's trying to work to try to hustle to get our dollar. And man, instead of us trying to, to trying to balloon, trying to trying to give us a balloon price of consoles and be five, six hundred dollars, I will be six hundred dollars. They're going to they're going to take a hit, even if five hundred dollars. So we'll see. I definitely want to hear your thoughts, man. Everybody have a good one. Peace.